Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Monday. How we all doing out there? We don't have any music. What? Let's start that. Boom out. shakalaka! Hello, everybody. Wow. Big crowd out there. Ligature. How we doing? Gonkar. Just Minoru. Matchy match. Little Robitussin. Hello. Been burnt a party. It's always a party when a party's here. Average solo. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do this right. Average solo plays. Thank you for the additional month. Appreciate you, brother. All right. Hello. Hell yeah. Who else we got in here? Matchy match. All right, we got a huge, huge show in store for you tonight. The actual cure for your case of the Mondays is here, y'all. We got a wonderful guest. But first, some announcements. You do have some brand new emotes. So if you guys have the lightsaber next to your name, you should be seeing some new emotes. Daddy's got you some new emotes. There are brand new Channel Point Redemptions as well on the channel. I would just ask when we get started with the podcast, which we're going to be doing here in about 10, 15 seconds or so, please don't use any of those redeems. You know, let's be respectful to our guests. Now let's make sure that we're not uh, overriding them with clips or or anything else that may uh, make noise or speak or anything of that nature, okay? Let's all have fun. We got a, a big, big show in store. Let's get it going. So today on Deep Space, we have the cure for your case of the Mondays. <laughs> Little Robitussin is here. Twitch's very own late night radio host. Everyone give a warm welcome to Little Robitussin. Let's get those emojis in the chat. Here he is, everybody. Look at him. He's beautiful. I can unmute myself now. Yes, he sure can. Okay. Happy to be here. That uh, I've been on mute for about 10 minutes, everybody. And uh, just it's been Obi talking to me. Yeah. Uh, first first experience like that in my life but happy to be here let's go um how's everybody in uh in deep space today um look, look at all those emojis i love it i know yeah congrats on your new emojis uh, i knew you drew them yourself right <laughs> uh no just the no. lightsabers oh, the, em the okay. emojis i have not handcrafted just just the uh subscription lightsabers those are the ones i did all right so this is a no smoking area, by the way, everybody. So, you know, I'm drinking Red Bull. Um, I'm, and I had a nice nap today. So we got ourselves uh, a lot to dig, dig into. Uh, so get your shovels. Total out. next rock. Um, but okay. yeah, last night was fun on uh, Big Tuck's uh, stream. Thank you for dropping by that. That was sweet. Yeah, man, I had a blast. That was a lot of fun with the t-shirt drawing competition. Yeah, there is a turtleneck themed thing in this uh, event here, by the way, Gong. Um, so, yeah, uh, Binks came by. Uh, we had a bunch of homies on there. It was, it was great. Um, and, yeah, uh, work was hell as usual, but I took a nap. I watched uh, Elemental, the Pixar movie. Pretty terrible, not going to lie. It was very emotional. Uh, I mean, very emotional movie. Those are the best Fire animated movies, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Give me the give me the songs and the dance and the fighting. Okay. The, you know, I, I get it. You know, I get it. Did it move you? Um, no, no, no. Oh, okay. I did not. I was reading about it after. It was a failure uh, release, but after like a few months, it actually profited. So they might make a second one. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was very heartfelt. Yeah, but you're an emotional guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're like, if I, if I ever like have a sad day, I'll call up Obi and be like, what's up, bro? And you'll be like, lay it on me, bro. And, you know, I have a bubble bath after, which is, yeah, it's, it's that bubble baths are gross as a man in your 30s after like five seconds. So you don't want to do that. And cry me a river by. Justin Timberlake is on right now. Uh, I can't hear the music because I don't have Spotify Premium. It's a thing we have. Obi's. Uh, if you've heard Skater Boy, I'm an Apple Music. He's a um, a Spotify. 
Yes. Uh, it'll never work out. I think it um, will. You just you just need some some super tech help to get it set oh, up. Oh, true. Well, this computer is old. Back when you could like add a bunch of coupons on Dell's website is when I got my computer. Mm -hmm. uh, 2016. Still is kicking though. You know she's old, but that's what you guys. That's she's she's uh, brought me out to the interwebs. So uh, I bought my, I bought this computer when my son was born. He's now ten. Wow. Yeah, it's is, uh, is, what's wow. Is is he? Uh, does he play video games? Or is he uh, he does. Like, hey, I'm a happy. Oh, okay. No, he does, but he he I doesn't do it on this machine. He does it on like his devices, right? Like his what uh, did. What did you like when you were 10? What, was, what did you get for your 10th birthday? I'll tell you mine after. Do you remember? Oh, what did I get for my 10th birthday? I got a hamster. Birthday? Sorry, I couldn't hold it in any longer. His name <laughs> was Harvey. Uh, yes, after the Weird Al song. What happened to Harvey? Harvey. Did it die? Oh, 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 we can talk about Harvey. So Harvey, the Wonder Hamster, the song, he doesn't fight it, he doesn't squeal, he just runs around on his hamster wheel. You can go on the YouTube and see it. Uh, Harvey bit me the first night, and it was never, we never got there. Okay. So he would, he would run on his wheel, and then, you know, he went to the, the downstairs where we would, we would see him all the time, but he wasn't as, uh, into, and my dog, hey, we had a miniature schnauzer, um, and she was mean. She was very mean, but loved my parents more than anything. Like, my parents would leave, and I'd have to, like, you know, like, uh, put a treat out and try to like take it away and play a game for her to eat. But she just swish it around her mouth, get like one crumb of it, get one sip of water, and then she'd at least live. But, um, <laughs> what? Back to Harvey. Back to Harvey. Um, so Harvey, uh, he lived to the fine age, I think seven. So he, I think that's a pretty good age for a hamster. Yeah. We fed him. Um, my mom was more upset when he died than I was because I came home and I'm like, oh, because the cage was all cleaned out. That's how you know, eh? And uh, yeah, he, he's not, who knows where he is now. Hopefully not hamster hell. That sounds terrible. All right. I think, uh, I think we're good on the Harvey. Let's get on track, Roby. We, we took a crazy detour there. Yeah, First this is what you invite me on for. Yeah, Rip, see? We got, we got, we got Fs in chat for Harvey. <laughs> thank you one for... last thing of news i think we should put in okay if you haven't joined pulse's uh snap just uh judgments league you should it's only a dollar yes please do that y'all it's it's gonna be a community event a lot of people are joining uh all right so thank you for being here obviously uh oh, is it over it, that's it <laughs> the yeah story we're we're, we're done you okay. uh you've taken over the show and i'm now kicking you off no i'm just That's kidding cool. <laughs> why don't we start by you telling us a little bit about your snap journey and how you became a marvel snap content creator Ooh, well like with anything it starts with a good old-fashioned gambling addiction when i was younger Ooh. played a lot of poker okay. like I, I wasn't i wasn't addicted but i played a lot and i won quite a bit i'd have my part-time job and i do my poker um and then I lost in a really stupid way. I'll tell you the I'll tell you the tournament. So it was on Thanksgiving, like forever ago. I don't even remember, like ten or years at least. And it was a dollar to get in U.S. And they had um, the first prize was a World Series of Poker uh, thing. Sure. So I was in second place. Like I played all day. It was like six o'clock at night um i'm in second and a guy's in first so anyways i don't want to take over the whole thing this is a pretty crazy story so i pocket aces right and i'm on the yeah. button i like it so right after Exp yeah, explain to our, our viewers what the button is please uh big and small blind so small blind big blind i'm big blind so i'm automatically in the hand and i get pocket aces right so the best hand in poker the guy right beside me was in first and he goes all in so i'm like oh god I, like, and it's $10,000 when I'm, like, freaking in my 20s, you know? Right. Sure. It's a lot it's of money. It's a ton of money. Um, so, um, I call this guy, and he's got ace two of clubs, and he flopped a straight three, four, five. And I lost. And then I think it was, like, a nine or 89% or 88% that I won. So not, like, perfect odds, 
But after that, I started playing Hearthstone because, yeah. Um, and then I was obsessed with Hearthstone for eight years. Met a bunch of people, started my Twitter, started making memes on Reddit, started to do the whole social media and meeting people and, like, you know, see what happens. And then uh, um, Snap came along, and to be honest, I stream because STG exists. Uh, I just saw him, and I'm like, you know what? Start streaming more. And That's I started making cool. it a habit and meeting my friends. Then I met Tucker. It was actually a few days after my birthday. I raided him. I think it was after an STG raid. So it was like a, oh, I'm a cool guy raiding, right? Like 100 people. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm so cool. And then um, him, he's just like, Do you have a, he's like, what's your phone number? And, and I gave him my phone number. And he's iMessage. So like, I can't, I, in Canada, you have to pay if I text you and you have an Android, like it costs money. So like, really, I, it's, it, it kind of has to have an iPhone. Feed. <laughs> but anyways, and then I messaged meeting Prashan and everybody else. And then we evolved. And then you came along like what, four months ago. Yes. And then, uh, like a meteor bursting for, no, I'm yeah, just kidding. I'm just a dude. Zal and BMAC and everybody is that yeah. it's weird. There's levels. Um, yeah, this is the lore here. So my name comes from, I just wanted something that is catchy and kind of dumb. Um, I, you know, not that I, I, I don't like being a little stupid from time to time, but uh, here's a secret is I'm not really like this all the time. Uh, I kind of just put my, uh, my hat on, right? Like I have a, a pretty serious job uh, that requires some pretty crazy stuff that a lot of people probably have no idea how to do or desire to. But uh, this is my outlet where I like to have fun. You know, I like to have a puff. I love everybody in the community. I haven't met a mean person yet. There's been one troll, one troll. And it's because I didn't play his 15 minute song um, and he didn't like it. Oh, shit. I pressed. Um, but everybody's been nice. Nobody's been a piece of crap. It's, I, it's I troll Roby constantly. Good. Well, it, you're, and here's a fun fact, too, that I, I don't really like talking about my personal life too much, but uh, one of my best friends, if not my best friend, is exactly like Obi. Exact same personality. Like, Spider-Man, the, the, it's, it's very strange. Like, I can predict sort of behavioral patterns in Obi because of my friend, because I know him so much. It's kind of crazy how... You know, um, getting older and meeting people like this has been the next stage of my my life, right? Like I'm spoiled with my real life friends and even their kids, them having kids and me learning all that stuff has changed my life. This is the next phase. The next it's kind of seeing what's going on. You know, I'm um, I'm planning maybe making my own show uh, sort of like a. You know, I, I don't really want to spoil it, but I'll say like a sketch comedy sort of thing where I just have a camera and just going to express myself. Uh, and like you know, this is kind of, you'll see. Oh. I don't know if you know, well, it was, I'll, I'll tell you off stream. Can you give us anyway, a sneak peek? No. It's well, it'd be, to be honest, it's sort of like what Tom green did back in like the nineties, the late nineties. Okay. I want to start off on that and interview people. And like, maybe it won't be about snap all the time but it's gonna be like about snap but i'm gonna i got some pretty crazy ideas and i think i know what's funny and what's not uh which is you know and i don't want to say oh well, i'm funny but i don't really care if i'm funny i don't care if you care if i'm funny i'm gonna say what i think is funny and if you laugh and you enjoy it if not you can not nah, you can fly away i look forward Jump to, to it man that's awesome I just wanted to make, yeah, uh, and yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, think of Prashan. I didn't want to get back on the whole friend thing. Like, I've known Prashan since August. Mm -hmm. I have to take a bullet for him. I have to. I don't want to, but I have to. You know, if it, if it happens, like, I'll try to not get shot. But, like, you know, it, that's how crazy these friendships have gotten. Um, and it's really, yeah. I'll take a bullet in the leg. I, I'm not going to die. I hope I don't die. Take one in the butt cheek. That's just the way I look at, like, there's people that if somebody is genuine and, you know, I can, I can, you know, I can genuinely know that they're a good person. 
Okay, so I will give them that everything. Talking about community, right? And friendships, uh, let's take a moment because someone in a community just suffered a very large loss. If anybody okay. knows BMAC TV, uh, his brother recently passed away. If you oh guys God. would please give him some DMs and just tell him you're thinking about him and, and rooting for him. Uh, big fan of the show. I'm a big fan of his. I hope he's doing well if you're out there watching my dude. Um you know, get right, heal yourself up, and uh, my condolences for sure. So, yeah, that's the... show them some love, guys. Um, yeah. Um, back to well, let's 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 uh, swing it around here. But yeah, respect yeah. to him. Um, did you see SpongeBob at the uh, Super Bowl yesterday? What do you think? No, I did not see SpongeBob. Well. Oh, well, there we go. I just switched the subject. Now go on to your next uh, next question. Uh, you are uh, breaking up for me some for some reason. Weird. All right. Uh, so my researchers uh, okay. in the field tell me you're into retro gaming, but I've never seen you stream anything retro. So is that like true? That's because nobody would ever, ever watch me. I've tried it when I didn't really stream very much. But yeah, I like so my favorite game of all time is earthbound i know Ooh, really so i really really like that game and i it's nostalgia goggles but that game i don't know i just really really like it there's another game mother 3 that's a sequel uh, and that's also really really good as well not as good as the second one just because i have nostalgia goggles on mm. um but another game i really like too is resident evil um oh. the so the first game for PlayStation 1, uh, this is just game FAQs and some dude keeping a sure. world record. But I had the second uh, record for the first Resident Evil back in the day. Uh, what was it? What was the record for? Completion time? Yeah. Very yeah, cool. I did it in like, yeah, I, it was crazy though. I did it in like four hours, but now like the record's like, I think it's like 40 minutes or something. That's, <laughs> wow, that's nutty. Okay. Yeah, but I was also a little kid, right? Um, <laughs> what drew you to retro gaming, man? I just always loved it. Like, I got a Nintendo for Christmas when I was young, like an NES. Mm -hmm. And then my brother got an SNES, and then we got 64. And then I had money at that point where we could get a PlayStation and then uh, all my friends, especially my one super rich friend, had every game. So all of it, all the RPGs and everything I would just get. And I would spend a lot of money renting games back in the day. I know that might seem crazy. I don't know if you did, but... Yeah, I rented a whole uh, really bunch of just, games. Yeah, like I... Uh, did you have Blockbuster I, in Canada? Yeah, we did. That was the big one. But yeah, there, there was other smaller ones. Um I grew up, uh, so I live in Toronto uh, now, but I grew up uh, in a very small city in Canada, like a very hick city that my job right now, I work in cybersecurity. I would never, ever, ever be able to get a job where I am in that city, right? It's a very small uh, spit in the wall is what they call it over there. Um... But yeah, the I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, there's a little history. Oh yeah, Hi Fax. Sorry, that was the that was the store where we would rent games back in the day, and there would be red tabs in front of NES games, and we would rent them. And I literally played like all of them. Um, yeah, I like um, so I, for Super. This is one of my prized possessions. I have. Uh, it's called an EverDrive. I don't know if you've ever heard what an EverDrive no. is, but it's a Super Nintendo cartridge, but it's for, you can get like a 64 one or Sega or whatever, but you put an SD card in the top so you okay. can play all the ROMs. Oh, no. You can play every game. I've heard of that. Uh, every game except for the cool one, or the really uh, technical ones. like um, So like Super Mario World 2 and Mario RPG, they have a new chip inside of the cartridge itself. 
so this everdrive doesn't play that one but it'll play like super mario world so um that sort of stuff was kind of my jam back in the day um i think if i would have started streaming like back then i would have done like back when it first came out in like the 2010s i would have done retro gaming um i was super into it even still am with the podcast and stuff just like because uh, i do have a lot of games and toys and everything my closets are just overflowing because that's what i did back in the day. um but uh i do really i think i'm curious about the prices of retro games and where the the focus is gonna go like are your kids ever gonna care about the first mario game no like but is it gonna get more valuable because we're, when we're older we're gonna have more money than them like you know what i mean if you have like like i have a sealed shadows of the empire for 64 i don't know how i got it but i have it you have like a what sealed is that copy worth? yeah that's awesome yeah but like do i sell it now or do no. i keep it you hang on to it wow i know it's in the old the old bin as we call it um but there's some his there's some history with me and then yeah i moved uh here for the job uh i met well not for the job but uh yeah i, I have a great uh friend group and uh you know that's sort of my life now streaming hanging out with the homies working Maybe swipe some Tinder from time to time, you know, but yeah. So my sources tell me that there are other games that you're into that Ben Brode was a part of. And I think you alluded to that a little bit earlier in your, your intro there. Is that true? true. Like, okay. Which game is it? True. It's Hearthstone. Okay. Um, so that's how I, I don't know. I really, I I wanted the people that made content to follow me from Hearthstone. That's how much I liked it. You know, I would uh, before an expansion, I like couldn't sleep. That's how much I liked this game back in the day. It was just like the best, and it came out ten years ago uh, in March. So I played it like a couple months after launch, and I just really fell in love with it. Uh, pretty different game in general than snap but also very easy to play and also the first of its kind right like you know uh really i i like games in general that have quick decisions with quick math right i just that's sort of my jam uh if i could figure out something very quickly or if i you know if you're like you give me a math question and I can estimate it close to what it actually is. I really like that. That's sort of what uh, gravitates me to card games in general. Um, I'm I probably have about ninety five percent of the cards in Hearthstone still. Um, do you still play? I I, I do. I, I don't spend money on it though. So in total, so I played it for seven years. Okay. And I, I I wanted like all the gold cards, all the shinies and all that stuff, right? So this might seem a lot, but I was about thirty five hundred dollars in total. American. So yeah. I'm Canadian, but I'm gonna keep it American for y'all. So but I'm at a point now where I have the entire uh game and everything for free, like probably indefinitely. I just need to do my dailies, which like I I, I sort of let them go, but like every three days I'll go play for 20 minutes, get my crap and go. So uh, still, it's actually a very fun game now, uh, but the dry periods were so dry. It's sort of like with Snap, right? There's sometimes you just don't want to play Snap. Uh, I, I feel like every card game really uh, has burnout and stuff like that, but um, I've kept with it, you know, and it's free now. So All right, so let's take a detour, right? So you've played Snap. Yeah. And they, they kind of have like this slow drip feed of content, right? And one new card a week, sometimes two new cards if it's the first week of the season. We've done that a few seasons now. Do you prefer that style versus like the Hearthstone style where they just dump everything all at once and they're like, here, go have fun? That's a great question. Uh, Hearthstone is way better. Um, the amount of decks you can make day one with you know what do they have 35 legendaries mm -hmm. you know and commons and epics and all that 
the drip feeding is kind of terrible. I don't like it, but I understand from a business standpoint how that makes money. So, you know, the FOMO of this game, like, I'll, I'll talk about Martyr. So, like, Tucker and I, the day I'm like, I'm not going to do it. He's like, you're going to do it. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to buy it. Literally five seconds after it came out, I was bored. And I'm like, yeah, I'm buying it. And I made a deck and, like, I use her all the time now. But, like, wait a minute. No, Didn't Martyr get card... you your very first Avatar frame? Yeah, that was that was with training, though. It took a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> it takes it took a long. I was with Howard and Martyr. Oh, okay. Um, Dynamic duo. Got you. Yeah. Um, but like I I need to get every car and I'm going to and I can afford it and whatever. But is that saying that it's not you know very unfortunate for my wallet. Let's just let's put it nicely. This yes, uh Marvel Snap is an expensive game if you want to be completionist for sure, especially on the variant side of things. But you're uh, doing very well. I am. I'm 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 doing all right. I, I I do put in money though, Roby. I get the season pass all the time and I yeah, occasionally but... get a bundle or two if my family's uber nice and we get a, like a Google Play gift card, right? So two months in a row. I got Google Play gift cards. Missing, you're missing what five? I think I'm only missing two cards now. I I, I actually pulled Ooh. Howard from the random series Ooh. four or five, and that's that's my downfall. Because yeah, I, my my if I get the Pro bow roll and get that, nice. I, I just get yeah, I just get a thousand tokens, and with you, that's like net fifty bucks basically. I mean, it's only like, happened. I don't know, once or twice. So don't. I opened Stagron uh, when it was like super, super rare to get a Series 5. I don't know if you played mm -hmm. back then. Yeah. When you could get. Yeah, I freaked out. Like, freaked. It took, I think it was 5,000 collection level or something. It was insane. All right. So let's, let's finish up Hearthstone. How many hours a week do you still play? An hour and a half tops okay. for the whole week. And what's your favorite build? Is is that is it build? I know like you select uh, yeah, characters. Yeah, and so this is funny. So I play the new decks just to see and whatever, but mm -hmm. I don't really play them normally because I do even hunter because that's the quickest and easiest way. You click the button and the guy dies and I get my missions done. You know, like I, I, I enjoy day one crafting all the stuff, doing it. And then I lose interest, and then I just go back to playing Even Hunter because it's really quick wins, so I can get my gold and leave. Right? What's your favorite Hearthstone expansion? Ooh, um, Ungoro. That was okay. where the quest came in. And to be honest, my friends used to play the when they did the Death Knights. Um, Wait, there's Death Knights insane. class in the game now. There is, there's a class in the game, but way back in the day, they introduced hero cards. So that was like that when my friends and I saw that. That's when Ben was still there. Oh, good grief! I've uh, I've, I've been out of the Hearthstone game for way too long. Apparently, yeah, I remember played. Let's go. <laughs> I remember I had, I think it's something that you get for like a hundred victories or something like or a thousand victories with the paladin. It's like some special oh. frame. I have that. Yeah. Oh. I got one of those you, and then I stopped you throw playing. Money at that at all? No. I did not know that. You played a lot then. Yeah. Oh, I mean, this is funny about Hearthstone. Because I only play even Hunter, I'm on the leaderboard of all time wins still. Uh that's for amazing. Hunter. I'm on like <laughs> yeah, I'm tagged in this tweet. I'm like, I, I should not be here. What is going on? So clearly you're a fan of social media and Twitter. How did you decide on Little Robotussin? I mean, you said you wanted something kind of clever and funny, but was there anything like, is there a story behind it? Were you like a small um, child and like mommy always gave you Robotussin at night or something? No, I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the Chris Rock video where he's Robotussin. So yeah, it's pretty good. He, he goes pretty hard on it. So that was, that was it. 
Uh, Tucker came up with Robo, which is crazy. Everybody calls me Robo or Rob. And my name's not Rob. Everybody thinks my name is Rob, but it's not. I call you Roby. Is that horrible? Like that. No. Okay. And I'm probably the only one that does that too. Booglin's the only one that calls me Robit. <laughs> and I'm blocked, so he doesn't talk to me anymore. <laughs> Don't feel bad. Brode calls me Obi Habit. Yo, Brode. Okay, so we're playing uh, in Fiona's uh, Jackbox games a couple mm. weeks ago. Brade was hilarious. Dude, he's funny. Like I, he killed me. It was hilarious. It was amazing. Yeah, little Robertson. <laughs> Robertson. So, Robert what inspiration do you draw on for some of your Twitter posts? They always seem to drive so many engagements. Ooh. That's a good question. So, I think of most things when I'm going to bed. Okay. I'm laying in bed. Um. To be honest with me, creativity, it's, it's weird. I was probably more creative when I was younger, but I was too shy to express myself or didn't know how to communicate it. So I'm inspired now, and this is crazy, but I feel like I'm more comfortable tweeting at stuff to you guys and random people on the other you guys aren't random but you know what i'm talking about people i don't know in real life than i am on my like personal uh <laughs> social media places no it's crazy like you know like reddit like i if if anybody ever wants to go on i've been at the top um it's it was like 4.5 million views i also was at the top and then i got banned from our funny because i did an overwatch meme with snoop dogg and it got like 1.1 million, but then they banned it and then, or they deleted it and banned me. It's still on there. You guys can see it. But that sort of stuff really, like, I've, I learned how to tweet and to create posts and make them short and sweet. And you have to not get too bloated. And you have to make sure, like, I, it's testing, really. Like, and it's confidence and all that sort of stuff goes into it, right? And, um using like for memes for example i kind of just see other memes take screenshots of them and then when something in marvel snap happens i can go through my photos and i'll just see it and i'm like oh my god if i change that to that that makes sense like you know like when they didn't have a series four i was like oh my god i saw that meme where lisa gets the note and the guy's driving away I was like, oh, yeah, and like the title would be my first thought after that because, you know, so he hands the note to Lisa, says no series four this month, then the, the bus is going. So that's how I get inspiration, and marijuana helps a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I, I like to dance, okay. you know? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Broke up. What learnings can you share for the group trying to grow their audience on social what media? What I just said. Okay. What I just said. And what, what would well, be the single one, most hey, important they, bit of advice? And I was going to get to that, yeah. Okay. Don't be annoying. So Explain. Because that's important. I want you to explain exactly what that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in general, annoying can be you just like, like for example... Say somebody wants me to follow them on Twitter, right? There is no chance ever if somebody comes to my Twitch and blasts themselves. Like, one dude did it last week, but I felt sorry for him, so I followed him. But mostly in general, <laughs> you don't go in and blast yourself in there, you know? There what? needs to be rapport. I would, okay. I would suggest that people go in and you can make friends with people that you enjoy watching because chances are if you enjoy watching them, they would probably enjoy having you because, you know, uh, usually, well, it's it's been 100% of the time with me that, you know, people are nice and kind. And, you know, if this is something you want to pursue, they'll help you out. Um, but annoying can be, you know, being needy or um, getting upset over stuff like with social media in general like if somebody doesn't like something or they unfollow you you can't let that 
affect you. Um, and to be honest, if it does, it's, this stuff isn't for you. Um, I've had people write long messages to me. I don't read them. I don't care. You know, like I have, you have to have confidence in yourself. And to be honest, it would help if you do have friends in real life as well, um, because you can learn that it is two separate things, right? You know, um, not that I, like, I, you know, not that I am that much different. It's just that with relationships with a crowd of people is a lot different than a uh, one-on-one -on -one sort of thing, right? And another thing, too, is you need to be accepting and a loving person, just in general. Uh, if you have hate, you don't, you should not be doing this at all. You suck. Um, you don't know the power of the dark side. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing. And like, try to be funny and don't like try too hard and don't take it too seriously. Would, and don't would you think say you're gonna be the big, the biggest person of all? Time, would you but. say that posting too much would count as annoyance? Um, if it's not interesting. So I only post when I think it's gonna be interesting so it's sort of like when you're talking to somebody you want to date you know you can't really spam them and you want there to be when well, you want it to be natural you want it to be not forced right and I, yeah i do a poll every day but to be honest i try to make it interesting and different and i actually surprise myself that i do it even like but it takes practice um it takes a lot of emotional intelligence so you know you need to not be petty uh and you need to yeah like enjoy talking to people right this is my stage this is like i saw your intro there obi this is your stage this is your time to to throw the cape off and do your dance number you know so did you like it i was on mute i couldn't uh, have my comment yes it was great <laughs> all right so i was thinking what you would look like if you had picked some different usernames for yourself and i really want to share that with everyone here it, would you think that'd be okay this was embarrassing but yes go ahead show it okay. to the, show it to the kids so my first thought was oh man here we go I mean, I'm not an artist, guys. I'm just trying here. But here we go. First username, uh, Lil Dayquil. What are we thinking? No? Not a fan of the orange? I, uh, he's like, send me some funny faces. I didn't message him back for a day, but he, he did. He made me do it. Hey, Beck likes it. All right. Fine. All right. You guys aren't a fan of Dayquil. I get it. I mean, these. I'm just throwing ideas out there, guys. All right. Second one is a little Tylenol. Everybody loves Tylenol, right? Like, look at it. You can tell he's got a cold in that in that clip right there. He needs that flu severe. Still so Nyquil. Cool. No. All right. Fine. All right. The first two were shots in the dark, guys. First two shots. I think I'm going to slay everybody with this one. And you're, you guys are going to be on my side of things, I think. Third one. Here we go. Yo, look at little Pepto with the turtleneck. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll give it to him for that one. Yeah, you got me. You got me the, the turtleneck. That's amazing. Well, we got crickets, though. I mean, they can't laugh out loud, my friend. I can so, hear them. Oh, okay. I can, I, I can that, hear all my audience. Is that part of your social media training? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I didn't want to. I, I hope I wasn't preachy there. No, you, dude, you were fine. Totally fine. All right. Well, Last that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was different medicine segment. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? There's a little bit more. The last thing my mobile researchers gave me on uh, researchers gave me on you is that you had a dream of being an actor. Is that for real? It's still here. Okay. Can you expound on that a little bit more? 
So, if I had one dream, one opportunity to seize the moment, um, like Cody, it would be I, I want to make a television show about myself in high school wow. and what happened. It was before technology took over, and it was safe to say ridiculous. I know you've heard a couple parts of it, and I'm sure my chat has told heard a little bit, but it was. It was insane. It, it yeah. was, that's all it was. It was the last time anybody can do what we did. I can't believe it happened. It's going to be a thing. I, I'm obviously not going to act in it. It'd be like a super bad thing where I'm Seth Rogen. We get a scrawny ginger kid to play me. Um, oh, yeah. He's totally Canadian. Um, so what happened? Because you keep dancing around that. I, well, I don't want to reveal it all. Can you reveal well, some okay, of it? Okay, so... Yeah, you brought okay, it up! I'll... Yeah, fine. I'll say one thing. Back okay. in the day, mm -hmm. the technology was not there to get really caught by the police. And I'm not joking here. On average, probably 50% of the time we went outside, which was every single day, we ran away from the police. Wow. Saucy. Uh, no, well, there was a lot of... So I mean... my. My brother was... You lived in a small uh, town, right? So were, like, all the cops on horseback or something? Well, no, I grew up... No, I grew up in a larger city, too. So, um... Yeah, at high school was a larger city. Pretty... Okay. It was all decent right. size. Um... So... It was just, like... Like, we would go to the park and, like, drink beer. And, like, the, the things that would happen... Going to parties and like, you know, friends that aren't really our friends, people in jail. Like, I got robbed by somebody the one time, and one of them, it was twins, and one of them is dead. I don't know which one it is. Uh, it could have been the one that pulled the knife on me. Who knows? Like, stuff oh like God. that happened. I know. You get a little sneak preview. Okay. But so I have quite a bit of stuff that happened back in the day. Like, an example would be like, you know, like we'd be like smoking pot in the park and people would be like, like they didn't have cell phones back then. Like, I'm going to run home and call the police. And like, we knew they were coming and we would just run and we would hide in between houses. That's how we got away most of the time. Spoiler alert. You couldn't do that now. Uh, we would also double away on our bikes. So we'd go on the handlebars when cops would come and we would, we would outmaneuver them. Um, <laughs> but Yeah. One of our one of my best friends is a cop now that was doing all this with us. So it's right. quite crazy. Um, so there you go. So what actor has had the most profound influence on you? Ooh, so I gotta say Jim Carrey, I guess. My favorite movie is Dumb and Dumber. I know people think that's Yo. weird. Let's go. Um, I love that movie. Uh, I really like comedies. You know, I like serious shit too. Like, you know, I, I really enjoy um, like a lot of the more serious stuff as well and some of the superhero. But yeah, um, that's my bread and butter. The And it might be just his face. His face is very elastic. And like, it's just interesting how he uses his body language and his face. Uh, but also, Robin Williams, uh, I, I compare myself to Robin Williams, unfortunately, not the end part, uh, but the, you know, I, and I don't, I don't know if I'm actually doing this or not, but I try to play off people's emotions to try to be kind, but also be funny, and my goal in life is to try to break everybody at least once and make them laugh uncontrollably, which... I haven't really met anybody that I haven't done it with. Like, if, like if I meet somebody shortly, yeah, yeah. But like in general, like it took me what like three or four days to completely break you. Like, you were broken. You just broke I, me. I was a broken was soul. The, no, when I played that card in that one thing and clogged it, you were done. You were dead. But did you right? do that on purpose? No, I was really high. I know that. <laughs> um, up, don't Toby? don't worry about it <laughs> no don't worry about it but it was also hilarious um but yeah so in general i i, I know they're just movies but uh that sort of i've always sort of wanted to be an actor and wanted to entertain 
Um, you know, I have goals of I want to write a book. I want to do some stand up at some point. Um, my job is very mentally exhausting, we'll say in a very nice way. So I don't really have time to do this. And to be honest, it takes time and I think it takes age. And it also I want to make sure that it is quality. Like even when I release snap content eventually, there actually might be a lot of trial and error. Like not that I'm nervous to release it. I just want to make sure that I'm doing it right. And that what I am releasing is quality um, because I know that I have the potential to do it. And I know that maybe a lot of people don't think I'm funny, but I know that some people do. And the friendships I've built and stuff like that, I know that a lot of it has to do with my humor and why I'm invited to Christmas dinners and stuff is because I'm funny. So why not get my fangs out and see what I can do, you know? Absolutely. So. As long as you're rocking that turtleneck, I think you'll get invited anywhere. It's too tight, Dude, to be honest. You look great in it. I don't care. I, I, I know that we roasted COVID you about it. I know that we roasted you about it, but hands down, you look phenomenal in that turtleneck. Look, look, guys. Wow. I, I, I'm not joking, all right? Check this out. Look how good you this looks. Oh, look how wow. good he looks at that turtleneck. It, it, look at how tight it is on the neck, though. That's probably why you're all, it's good. You're all distracted by the tightness on my neck. It's amazing. Or cozy. You're blinded by cozy. You just like cozy. <laughs> all right. So is Jim Carrey also your favorite actor? Yeah. Okay. It's tough. I like really. I I don't really watch too much television shows anymore, but I'll watch movies. Um. I, I never really watched anime before, but I really like watching anime movies now as well. It's just, uh, I, I really, I don't want to get back to like, I'm some old fogey, but I feel like with age, you kind of have to pick and choose your battles and um, with, with movies and actors and everything. Like I can't really like sometimes Steve Carell sucks. Sometimes he's amazing. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes Will Ferrell is completely out of trash, but that strays movie was fucking hilarious that was insane sorry part of my french um but you know it takes it's a lot of like even with music uh this might blow your mind but like most artists i like one or two songs yeah like kanye is a kind of a different one because i like him a lot but like you know like if i'm getting to it like how many like meatloaf songs do i like even though my favorite song of all time is paradise by the dashboard like i like one meatloaf song like you know like i don't really the favorite stuff is hard because i i really do i just enjoy media in general and consuming it okay so you you mentioned acting was that always the seven was that always the profession you wanted as a child or was so there I something went? else like you mentioned being an actor is the dream, right? But oh, was okay, was that yeah. always your profession at, like growing up, like of choice? Did, did you no, always no, want to no, be no, that? No. no, as soon as I became a nerd and computers came out, I realized what was going on. So um, to be honest, until I was like 24, no, not 24, no, 2008, I just had hodgepodge jobs like at working 12 at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. I worked at call centers and I worked at, you know, like, uh, food places and stuff like that. Um, but then I, to be honest, I went to a really crappy college and I'm mostly self-taught, uh, and it was all relationships, networking, LinkedIn, getting jobs, changing jobs, making sure that I'm working for the right people, you know, understanding when I'm being mistreated and leaving, which is hard as heck when you're young. I find when I first started working, I kind of, you know, oh, when do you want your your applesauce, sir? You know, uh, and just sort of, sort of bow down to everybody. Now I talk to everybody sort of the same. I don't, um, you know, but yeah, career-wise, I, I always, it always had in my back pocket, but really, like, I was like a, 95 pound ginger kid until like 23 so like Ro Roby, I, I, I asked you what you wanted to be when you grew up buddy i don't know what yeah. you're talking about man 
I am talking about it. Ninja Panda knows. You don't want the good stuff? Fine. No, I do want the good stuff. I, I uh, definitely want the good stuff. One word answers. Let's take out the personality for everybody. What's up? Okay. Uh, I, I believe it was something about rappers, if, if I'm mistaken, right? You wanted to be a rapper as a child? Oh, yeah, I did want to be a rapper. Yeah, I still sort of do. I want to be Little Dicky. <laughs> do you know who that is, at least? <laughs> yes. Is that your oh, favorite rapper? No, he stinks now. He's terrible. I'm sorry. Can you spit some so bars for us rapper? tonight? Oh, are you rushing me now? I was going to say my favorite. I'm not going to... Well, no, not in, if I'm inspired, you can't ask me. I wish I didn't read, to be honest. I skimmed, and you're going to ask me that question. I wish I didn't. <laughs> right. Yeah, Obi does need a little puff. I'm, I, I, you, you're right. I'm, I'm moving too fast for you. I'm sorry. But we're an hour in, and we haven't even touched Marvel Snap yet, Roby. So we're, okay. I'm just, we're trying to keep it on oh, the rails, baby. It. Somebody texted me. I bet you it's Tucker. Let's see. No, it's Tinder, but just an ad. <laughs> <laughs> we paused for Tinder. You mother. Oh my you goodness. Mother. Valentine's Day is coming. All right. So we had a patch last week. Mm -hmm. Let's go over everything that changed. First up, Omega Red going from if you're ahead by 10 plus four to other locations to. If you're winning here, plus three to other locations. Why don't you start us off? What are your thoughts? I think it's good. Uh, probably something to be concerned about if somebody's running the Living Tribunal crap, too, maybe. Not that big of a deal if they are running that, but I, don't know, I think it's a solid one. Not annoying. You know, it's no squirrels. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean it's no squirrels? I hate Central Park. I hate it. But who likes Central Park? If anybody likes Central Park, you're banned from uh, Obi's. Patriot a, uh, Patriot players like Central Park. Who plays Patriot? This is 1984? Uh, <laughs> a lot of people play Patriot, man. All right, so yeah. I <laughs> I think the change at least made him playable. Uh, you know, like you mentioned, he's already finding his ways, uh, his way into tribunal and lockdown lists. So, I mean, he was, uh, you know, extinct for the most part. Uh, at least you're seeing some play out of him. I do enjoy this change. I think they should have kept the plus four if you're winning, but it, you know, whatever. What are you talking? I, I thought you were talking about the location. What? What are you talking about? Omega Red. Oh, I thought you were talking about the new location. You said location. There's a new location. Oh, my God. Roby, you're killing me, fam. Okay. Okay, Omega Red. Okay. Wow. Did I sort of make sense even answering it on the other one? That's crazy. Uh, um, so, Omega Red, I believe, is pretty good right now. Uh, a little overtuned. Yeah, well, you said location. A I little overtuned? He's overtuned? I think he is. I think Get he's out of team. here. No way. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. Uh -uh. He'll be a problem. Um, but in general, I th yeah, we're watching this VOD and seeing if he says location after, too. But yeah, I'll, uh, Omega Red, good change, I think, overall. I can use my skin, finally. So, yay. Omega Red on Cerebro is your current deck? Oh. Yeah, isn't... Didn't somebody make so like a, Cerebro Four Omega Red? Yeah, somebody made a deck on it or a video on oh. it. Who was it? Was it Cozy or Alex? Oh, C five. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to check oh, yeah, that out. Oh yeah, it's five. Yeah, it's five power. So second change and probably my favorite change: Beast goes from a three four return cards and give them permanent minus one to a 2-2 two, two return cards, and they cost one less next turn. I like this change a lot, uh, especially in bounce lists. Um, you're now able to pick um, to pick where you're going to be picking up your, your stuff more carefully because it's a two-cost now. You can play it on multiple turns. Uh, you know, you can chain it with uh, Black Swan as well, so you're getting essentially zero-cost cards if you're picking up ones. 
multiple times a game, which is very powerful. What are you thinking on this one? I, I'm going to have a hot take, and I think it's kind of better. Oh, I, I um, agree. For, for bounce, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and I'm a bouncer. That's me. Not in real life. I don't have the physical stature. Um, but in general, I've been messing with him a bit, and I think he's good with Werewolf by Night, too. Um, and this change makes it a lot... Makes Werewolf a little less awkward. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. When I first saw it, I was like, Ugh, rip beast. Because, like, you know, I don't... I didn't really think about it. But now, I think it's good. And the negative effect, I've only really... Like, yes, it's a little worse in regards to longevity like throughout the game if you want to hold on to your stuff uh but i haven't really ran into it being that big of a problem if something is a zero one turn and then a one the next turn i can still the business out so the third and final change helicarrier Goes from add three random cards when discarded to fill your entire hand when discarded. Small patch, right? We only had three affected cards. I'll let you take the lead on this one. What do you think about the new Helicarry? It's the best. I love it. That's all okay. I've been playing. That's what I'm playing tonight. Okay, tell us yeah, more about that. What are you playing uh, it in? Uh, in Hella, mostly. So I've been using Super Giant, so Magic on whatever. And then I super giant on five and then play Hella and then Modoc. Um and yeah, that's been amazing. Uh I've been just putting I've been doing Wong uh as well with Modoc. So you have uh Morbius and the collector, and then if you get rid of it twice, it's kind of the nuts. Uh not only like both of those cards just go crazy, right? Yeah. and then Hella can bring it all back. Uh, but yeah, it's been been really cool, and I have the Dan Hip, so I've been playing that. Uh, I feel like the variants really give me uh, a lot of creativity when it comes to the decks. Um, you know, it gets... If I have a cool variant for something, I'm hard as buffed, I'm a lot uh, more likely to use it. Um, but yeah, Helicarrier has been great. Uh, and somebody told me you can get Helicarrier from Helicarrier, but I have not had it happen yet. And I've played it quite a bit. So if anybody has that info, feel free to at me. I would have gone a different route with the build. I would have gone Collector, Collector Modok Wong route. With, um, That's Marcus. what I did. You said you played Hella, though. Yeah, I have Hella in there, too. Oh, you, oh, you do both. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, like the Wong is a spoil. It's only if I get the perfect pieces. So I normally get, like, I'll get Collector out early is the goal because it doesn't matter when you play Morb. And then hopefully get Magic. Um, if you don't get Magic, you're kind of screwed unless you get uh, some sort of location discount or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've been... I got up to 85, or 79 to 85 with it on Saturday, and then I had a snifter of wine, and then it went down a bit. But quite a fun deck. It was random as heck. Um, I've also been playing it with Gambit and uh, Wong and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do you have Swarm um, in the deck? Yeah, of course. Okay. Swarm's in both, yeah. Yeah, Swarm's great with it. Um, and... Yeah, I actually have really, really been enjoying Supergiant. Uh, I don't really want to spend a key on the Spotlight variant, but I have been very, very tempted because I don't know if there's going to be another one because she's cool. I agree. I, I think the change breathes life into the card, a card that was, again, not played at all. At least it has a home uh, in this you know very greedy discard list. Um, collector discard lists are, are very much back on the menu, boys. So, uh, go ahead and eat up. And that's and all you I know got what? for that. Hella, Hella bringing back Hella Carrier kicks butt. 
Yes, it, it really does. does. It's just 10 power that comes out, and I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so our next topic, Second Dinner recently announced in the Team Answers section that the random Series 4, Series 5 cards in Spotlights are on their radar. So what changes do you think they're going to make to it? Um, that's difficult. I hope they put in duplicate protection, but I don't think they will. Okay. Um, to be honest, if I think they're going to do anything, they're going to put infinity tickets in it. And it's disgusting, but that's what they're going to do. It's not going to be a good thing. Hot take. Okay, so it's still going to be random, but now you also get infinity tickets? Yeah, you'll get like an infinity t ticket on top or something. Or you'll get 2,000 instead of 1,000. There's not going to be... I don't know. I feel like it's going to be an infinity ticket with something. I Interesting. don't know. Okay. They, they um, value those things so high. It's hilarious. How... Like, what did they... Yeah, it's not going to be anything good. Like... Like, if maybe well, we, they will make it 2000, did that we would be sorry? No, you're fine. I mean, didn't we just get login rewards and like a carnival event that, that was just nothing, all free though. stuff? That's I mean, it's, it's it's resources that you didn't have prior to them releasing it, yeah. But I'm talking cards that are hundred dollars a piece theoretically. That's what I want. I'm collection complete, I'm running a one in four every time. It's ridiculous. So okay, I have to so spend hundred dollars every month or whatever it is. Trying my to do. my I personal it, thought dude. would be for them to give us an option to just get the card of the week prior to anything else. So I pitched this to Intera. I said, "What if we just spend two spotlight keys and it guarantees you the card being released that week?" Would you Would you be yeah, in that something like that? that? I would a hundred percent. Yeah, that would save me. Yeah, why would they ever do that though? That would save me so much money. I wouldn't even have to probably put on money anymore in my entire life they would never do that yeah they'd have I mean, the variants still cost <laughs> yeah, money don't care about whales come on bro come on think about it from a business perspective like there's a reason why legends of rune terra failed there's a reason why a marvel snap is flourishing and you're fine with not having all the cards i'm not but i don't care i'm, right? I'm only short costs, two cards man i know well okay but Let's just put it. Let's just put it on the table for a second. Okay. This next month is going to be brutal, and the next month after that is going to be brutal. If they're all series five, are you going to like? If you don't get lucky, like, what's your token count at right now? Uh, seventeen thousand. Okay, so we got like two months in the chamber, and then it's getting a little rickety after that, right? It's the amount of cards that are coming out, and the amount of resources you need to obtain them to become collection complete, if you choose to do so. Right. is on average of probably 100 to 200 dollars a month on top of your time so yes right now you're only two off and you did get a little lucky but like this game it's all series five five a month and you know i that's what i've heard it's around a hundred dollars for a series five is what they value it at and whatever our time is whatever uh but it's if 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 anybody's going to think that they're going to make a better system than that without there being something large happening like rotation to try to get new players to come in, it's it's just not on the table, right? They they pro It would probably hurt the longevity of the game if they did that, to be perfectly honest, because of how unprofitable and how backwards it would be. I, I think somebody did the math. On average, you're getting one and a half spotlights a week. Right, so if you charge two spotlights for the card of the week, you still wouldn't be able to do it without getting more expenditure in the game, right? No, but I'm collection complete. Why would I ever put money on ever again? Because there's variants, and you're a variant hoe. No, I'm not. You're I totally a variant whore. I get, yeah, but I get two thousand from the creators program, and I earn gold in game. Right. I don't really put on money for it you now, don't put any put money, money in the game come on no i buy bundle no i do i do yeah anyway, thirteen hundred dollars in no i i do not put money on for like variant i would probably never put money on in the game ever again if your method were put in 
and i'm sure a lot of people be that way i don't like i don't care really about variants too much like i like them mm -hmm. but i i don't want to spend thousands of dollars on them if that makes sense so all right so to put it into context you're buying bundles but what you're telling me is that you're purchasing the bundles for the resources so that you can have more keys available to 100%. get the cards you want and you're saying wow. that with my suggestion that wouldn't be necessary any longer for you yeah and i might buy one okay. once in a while but like if i could play this game and stream it for free holy crap Oh, OG says he's about to put Variant Ho in his Twitter bio. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. dude. Absolutely. But yeah, I, um, like, and yours would be great. And yeah, they would be great for everyone. Um, what I think they might be more likely to do, which mm. could potentially be good for everybody, is if they had one more card a month, so they keep everything the way it is, they have one more card a month that's just free for everybody. Or something like, like that. Like, we'll get, like, a free S4 card a month, like they do the Season yeah, 3 stuff? Yeah, give us the, the, get, you get the crappy one, probably. Yeah, you get the, yeah, the, the, the B-level uh, <laughs> stuff. But yeah, you get the, maybe they give you the Series 4, and then everything else was Series 5. Maybe that would be, I could see them doing that. All right, let's move on. Call Obsidian drops tomorrow. A 410 oh that only requires a one cost. Also, it's confirmed that you can stage a one cost and play call on the same turn, which is very gnarly. Uh, I think this card's going to be one of those evergreen stat sticks in the game moving forward due to the ease of entry. Um, kind of like um, Atuma was and, and Sentry, minus like all the downside, really. Because all you have to do is play a one cost card. What do you think? Yeah. Um, if he's out early and someone isn't really thinking, they're going to waste their Shang on him, which is crazy, right? I feel like him being the cost that he is with the stats, he's going to be in a lot of stuff. He's kind of a must craft. Uh, he's boring. I'll yeah. give him that. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's just going to be in so much stuff. There's no way. Maybe he won't be, but I can see the world where, yeah, he's just like, he's a better Typhoid Mary. You don't need to run Zero or any of that crap. Right? You run Sunspot. You run Thanos. Um, or maybe he's what? better with Typhoid Mary. Because you could play all the tens, get your scar out, and then drop her, and like everything drops below Shang Chi range. Yeah, and with Zabu, yeah, this card's a problem. It's kind of a <laughs> so it's definitely a snap for you. You're not passing on Cole. No. Well, you're probably not I, not I, passing on anything, right? You you're trying to stay a collection card complete. Where, like yeah, they could have a card where like they send a pile of poop to your front door every day, and I'd buy it. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, the that card. Well, I, I'd be shocked if it's not used. It just seems very good, and I don't even know if, even if it is too good, how they would nerf it. Um, I guess maybe they could have it where you have to play in a certain lane or something, like a Giganto. But like, it feels like that sort of card, right? Like it should be like you. I don't know. Or that he sort of is like that. Never mind. He is like Giganto, where he, you have to play the one cost in there. Mm -hmm. So it's just not any one cost on the board, right? It's in the same lane. Uh, I need. I I don't know. I I have. I need to read the text again. I think it's the same lane, right? Anyways, I just know that he requires a one cost. I don't know that it's in that lane particular. Um, but what they did say is that you can play the one and him on the same turn. I don't know if they have to be in the same lane, though. Does anybody know this, chat? I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you don't need to play him in the same lane, and that's how they fix him if he's too broken. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on. The last yeah. segment tonight is to rank our top three four-cost cards in Marvel Snap. He said Venom Bait. Yeah, for sure, it's Venom Bait. 
Uh, Robbie, your number one pick for the four cost top cards. What do you got? Wong. One of my favorites. Love him. Wong. Best card ever. Well, okay. besides Howard. Why? uh it's how i fell in love with the game um to be honest in hearthstone there's a card called brand bronzebeard and he doubles battle cries similar not the same but similar mm -hmm. um i got like three thousand boosters for wong i think i just play him a lot um i like the power dump that he can do uh wong mystique stuff always great spectrum uh, i really like him with spectrum um it's just a really fun card uh to be honest i'm kind of on board with like i obviously wong is the, this is his card but i feel like dr strange and wong their powers were sort of reversed because like the animations like really in the, no the powers like dr strange should be more powerful than wong right so wong should probably be a move card and dr strange have this ability lore wise but uh wong's the bomb there's a new skin coming out this month that i'm really hyped for very cool and this is your number one pick yeah oh yeah okay by far mine is the master of disaster the great equalizer shang chi that's a good one what's up zal uh yeah shang well, i call him shang soon now because Why? he just steals souls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Your soul is mine. The ghetto um, shang bang, bruv. Yeah, so I call it a shang bang, but only when he gets two or more. That's the uh, the Wikipedia definition. Yes. Uh, also, uh, this was my very first variant for him. And shortly after getting this variant, I got another one which is gnarly, but I went almost a year and a half without a Shang-Chi variant. And I got Damn. this one. Yeah. Big fan of the Ten awesome. Rings variant here. All right, your yeah. next card, sir. What is it? Number uh, two full Iron cost card. Lad. Oh, Mad Lad. Okay, tell me. So, I'll have a hot take. Even though it's not my favorite four cost, I'll probably say he's the most fun card in the game. Okay. I really enjoy his design and just like what you can do with him. And he's got premium stats and him and Howard are BFFs. You know, I really, it's, uh, I love putting him and Howard in decks and just experimenting. It's one of the most fun things in the game for me. Um, I, I think he's well balanced, but something sort of makes me feel like he is being used a little too much. But I don't want him to be changed. Yeah, I don't want him to be changed either. I think it's a great card. Premium stat line, great effect, goes in almost anything. It's uh he's he's like he's like the Swiss Army knife of of cards. You could put him on on reveal, you could put him in ongoing. It's just man's a G. Very like, good pick. His animations when like it's it's not his animation, right? Like if it's Werewolf by Night and you see him jumping around, it's just funny. I just really like that. Um, but yeah, great ticket, great ticket, great card. Uh, I agree, Feck. Uh, the the power on the card is very strong, especially for the ability. Do I want them to change it though? No. Mine next one is a Zadar Kark. My man is awesome. If you were able to get this guy when he released, my God, did you just feast on people. This card was so dominant. What'd you say? Yeah, I grinded to get it. I grinded to get it. I got him on release. He was broken. He yeah. still is really, really good. I Super find good. the rocks are, especially in this meta, are very good. Because mm -hmm. it shuffles your deck. It does all that stuff. And... You know, if somebody gets a rock instead of their Jane Foster, for example, that stuff yeah. happens, and then you're just... It's very disruptive. Laughing, right? Very disruptive. Uh, the yeah. downside is when, when you do all of that, and then you get the, the blob coming out now, it sucks up all your rocks. Yeah, I have seen resurgence in blob in the past yeah. couple of days, which I wasn't really expecting, so... Um, He's still good. 
he still gets 15 power. Sometimes more yeah. if he if he like clips the right cards. Like Blob's not dead. He's still probably the strongest six cost aside from uh what what's the big dude? Infinite. Yes. But he comes with a huge caveat, you know? Yeah, and speaking of Infinite, I feel like you know, once bigger cards are released, maybe his start going down too. But like I feel like that card is that card is everywhere and it's very strong, but I I feel like it's not gonna be the staple that it is forever. Okay. To switch feel that. Right now, I think Darkhawk is probably one of the strongest positions he's been in since the like good stats list was released back in the day. I yeah, mean I agree with that too. The rocks yeah. just kill. Like I every time I'm against rocks, I get screwed most of the time. It's because all right. my, my draws are all messed. Last but not least, Roby, what's your last pick? Um I'll go with Moon Girl. Ooh. Spicy I do choice. I like Moon Girl quite a bit. Um Woody recently put out a deck where you can get multiple She-Hulks. Mm -hmm. And I did always like the Devil Dino stuff back in the day. And um, I don't know. I just, I really feel like she's very unique with what she could do. Um, I get scared I when I see her on the board, for sure. Yeah, and I don't really use her that much anymore. I used to, but great beginner card as well. Um you know, even getting two Iron Mans or something when you first start the game is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I do like her new skin that just came out. I bought that, even though the the 50 extra tokens was very strange. Like, very weird why they would do that. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like maybe she's being underused, but every time I experiment with her... I lose because it's not. It, I I haven't figured out the puzzle yet. Uh, but Woody's deck was very good with the multiple She Hulks and getting all that stuff. Hey, uh, speaking of Moon Girl, um, Miles Morales discounts to a one, right? But it's only for the following turn. Don't you think it should be permanent, like like kind of like Stature's thing? Stature, you do the effect. She's She's one cost for the rest of the game. Him, you do the effect. He's only one cost for the next turn. So here's what I would do if that was the case. I'd move something and try a Wong Mystique Moon Girl. Yeah. And then get a bunch of... That's... So you have seven... Or how many would you have? You know, you'd have four. Five. You'd have five one fives. And that's what I'm getting at. If it was a permanent change, you could do like... Like that stature list with Miles and, and something else that discounts. I mean, you get wrecked by Triple M, but I don't really run still Miles, be fun. to be honest. I, I don't really find value in these. His stats are too small, I think. If they were 1 5, would it still be too small? No. One Permanent 1 5? Well, to be honest, I don't know. Like, what is better? Like, even if you. Do you like the demon the from Hood? It's a 1-6. We're only talking about one point difference. Well, Martyr's a 1-5. I don't know. I feel like, like, why would you play that stuff instead of just, like, filling up the board and having Martyr, right? Obviously, the other way is more fun. Your way is more fun. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I feel like 1-5 isn't even, like, the craziest shit. But if you do move something, which in a move deck you will, like, I feel like maybe he's not even worth a slot, right? You, okay, but here's what I'm saying. If it was a permanent reduction, you could just have Jeff and move him once, and he's permanent. Then you get your stature effect on the on the board, you drop your moon girl, and now you got two 1.5s and two 1.6s. You toss in a it's hood a there, lot, then though. you got two demons. It's not a lot, though. It's a lot of stats. What do you mean? Is it? It's not really. Not really. 1.5, I don't know. Like, a 1.5, great... You'll have two, ago. so that's that's ten power, yeah, plus twelve with okay. two statures. What does Miss Marvel do? 
I mean, you could also play her. I mean, <laughs> I know it's just you know what I mean. Just like it's, I feel like it's too, it's too low a stats. Like I don't know. Maybe he okay. should be a one six. Maybe we need or sorry a five six. Or is he a four six? What is he normally? He's a, He's a four, four five. five. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Four six, and you have me saying he. You can slot him in. Okay. He needs another power. Not a point of power. Okay. I dig it. My last pick is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is he at? The man of mystery right here. Mr. Oh Powerful. God. Loki. Top 3-4 cost in the game. Absolutely. The man, regardless of nerf, seems to just have staying power. He takes his hymns every day, yo. Uh, the permanent cost reduction when in conjunction with uh, Quinjet is amazing. He can play your card back to uh, your, your deck back to you at a better rate, which is insanity. Um, yeah, he's a good card. Still is. Your thoughts, sir? Great with Quinjet. Yeah, he's a uh, he's very he's very good still. Um, What's that new card? Is Valentina? Have you seen the leaks? Yes, Valentina looks broken. Yeah, so you could do Quinjet one. So Valentina is two she's mana, two, two, I believe. Or no, no, she's, she's a two, two. four mana, four mana, four mana. Or no. She's a two, two. Two mana, two, two? Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, and she then it's two, uh, two. on reveal, get a six cost that costs four, right? Yes, and has two less yeah, and power. Then, and then has two less power, yeah. Right. So then you want to do Quinjet, and then uh, Valentina, and then you can play that other card on three, and then you can Loki on four, mm -hmm. and then you can do a lot it, of stuff. It's, it's going to be broken. Valentina is, is incredibly strong, uh, especially if you're able to bounce her. Oh, my God. Yikes! Can you imagine getting two, three, ten freaking uh, Magnetos? It's insanity. Yeah. And then Loki on top with a, uh, with a Quinjet, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty crazy. So I guess we'll stay tuned to that. Uh, White Widow is also broken too. Oh, that card looks so yummy, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna be White Widowing yeah. everybody. I don't Look know. Look out, y'all. You're getting all kissed. I'm kissing all Does of you. Does Junk need another card? I, I, I guess so. It, I think Bounce needs that card. That's gonna be so good. Well, Bounce and Junk can go together. I've been playing a lot of that. Just like having Werewolf and Bouncing and then uh, Annihilus. Quite fun. Ooh, werewolf. Those le yeah. Any bounce. Get those uh, yellow jacket boosters that we all crave. Okay. Um, let's take a quick siesta. I'm done with the QA portion of the interview, but we're an hour and a half in. I think we take a quick break to go to the restroom. When we come back, we'll do the viewer questions for both Roby and I. So you guys will have some opportunity to think of them and and get them ready for when we return in the meantime i'm gonna put on some words on stream for you guys and we are gonna be back in just a few moments thank you all for being here as always i don't have ads on the channel so enjoy your ad free viewing and we'll be right back to the deep space this is your opportunity to ask us any questions you may have for robitussin or myself Anything you guys are interested about? What did you win? I don't know. What's the meaning of life? Wow. Deep. Um, well, in my opinion, the meaning of life is to make other people's lives around you better. And maybe that's hard sometimes to not be selfish, but, uh, you know, if you genuinely care about people and you treat people nice good things will happen to you and you'll probably live the best life if you want to 
I, I would also say you should live for your dreams as well. Don't be scared. You know, if people think your idea is stupid. When I started streaming, my name is Lil Robitussin. Every single one of my friends thought it was stupid. Now, they think it's pretty cool. Not only do they think it's cool, they think it's probably a little beyond cool. But, you know, don't let anybody tell you what to do with your life. Um, don't let anybody run your life. Don't, you know, you have to love yourself before you can love life, sort of, you know. Don't let the world keep you down either. Try to be a little optimistic, right? You know, whether it be your love life or finances or whatever, just know that the majority of people do care about you and, you know, um, things do get better. And if you work hard and uh, you treat people uh, correctly, uh, good things will happen. And I know that might seem very broad, but I've experienced it all. You know, I bet the lowest of the low and the highest of the high. Um, and yeah, and just try to try to put yourself outside of uh, your own little uh, box sometimes, right? You, like a lot of uh, stuff that happens to people happens to a lot of people, right? And just if you think you have the worst world or worst life, no. Think of if we lived 200 years ago, Obi and I would be in a war and we'd probably die early. So we're probably living in the best time you could possibly live in right now. But just be kind. There you go. Very cool. Uh, OG Plant wants to know our ages. I believe you said you were 37. Is that right? True. Okay. I'm 41. Old, old geezer here. Uh, Snap grab caused you to th oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, Plant said I Snap caused you to throw your phone. I've never, no. I... I don't, I play the game just to have fun. I don't really get upset. Like if I get really beat, I sometimes it like I'm like, oh my god, I tilt a little. But it's a the game is all RNG. Like you know, we've all been there. Somebody got Galactus randomly from the hub, and then you lose because they get that or whatever it is, right? Um, what about you? Uh, have I ever gotten tilted because of the game and thrown my phone? No. Have I maybe slammed a counter or two and, you know, shut out like a, a very loud cussing noise? Probably. That's been known to happen, especially like on a game five where, you know, I miss it by one point or I do something stupid and and drop eight cubes when I, I really need them on the climb of the ladder. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not immune to... Um, Bad attitude and snap. Uh, that being said, I try not to play the game. <laughs> What's a cussing noise? Leave me alone. Uh, uh, you seen Yosemite Sam? Frickin' yickin chicken. Frickin'. That's what he does. I, I, well, I'll actually say the word, unfortunately. Uh, much to my wife's chagrin because we have young children around. But I know. Uh, wow. <laughs> um... Where do we, uh, Grapple, we, we skipped a, a question there. Grapple says, where do you see yourself in five years time, Roby? Um, that's a crazy question. I don't really like answering this sort of stuff, but, um, I'll just say that my goal, I want to, I, it would be great to start a family, which is one thing that I could hopefully do, but School. Other than that, I'm going to be focusing on my career and my finances and myself and uh, hopefully have those goals. Uh, and I also want to hopefully have like a YouTube and more of a following and sort of have my my niche out there. But um, in general, I'm going to keep what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I... I don't want to just keep bringing up finances, but that's really my main goal now. Unfortunately, with the prices of like, you know, I live in an apartment right now and if I want a house, it's over a million dollars and it's a lot of grinding. So it's one of that, it's one of that, um, one of them sits real, real estate in Canada. It's just, it's kind of nuts in areas, man. Well, everything, man, it's crazy. It's $4 and nine cents for a McDouble. Yeah, it's going McDonald's and it's like $20. they were a dollar. They used to be a dollar. It was three dollars and twenty cents Canadian ten years ago, or it was like fifteen years ago. But I used to live off of them. 
used to like go and get a, get two of them. It was great. Dude, you could get them for a dollar here. They were on the freaking dollar menu. Yeah, and like just everything is just ridiculous, right? Like, um, but here's all here's another thing that I've learned with age too that like Costco and Walmart, you gotta like you can't just throw away money. Like, I wanted Tylenol because I was uh, I was sick uh, or Advil, so I was gonna get it off of Uber Eats, um, and it was Walmart was three ninety nine, and like every other place was like nine ninety nine. So like being conscious, or yeah, like uh, conscious of what you're buying, and making sure that like you know you don't shoot yourself in the foot with those sort. Like I find it's very easy to do that, right? In this day and age, right? If you like, Costco is great because you're actually getting value this day and age, and they do take a hit on some things. Everything's just not jacked up to whatever they can put it at, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know why I got on that tangent, but. I, I, that's one thing that I'm really trying to do. Like I do breed some DoorDash every meal, which I probably shouldn't, but that's just who I am and I'm single and whatever. But I find that like literally everywhere I go, everything is just completely outrageous with the prices. Right. So got to stay on top of that. What's your least favorite card to have in your deck when you see a specific location? Uh, Galactus with Central Park every time. <laughs> That's every time I do it, it comes up all freaking night. That's a great answer. Um, I would say every single card in my list when District X comes up or Mindscape comes up or that Treskillion comes up. Anything that makes you play anything other than the cards you want to play suck. Yeah. District X. Those those locations can go eat uh, a big bag of ducks. Sal wants to know, Roby, would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or ten duck-sized horses? That's the Obama question. Um, to be honest, it depends how ornery. The, the big duck might be easy if it's just like a regular duck. You just jump on the back, slit his throat, and then it's over, right? But if you're against all those little ones, I don't know, man. Yeah, they asked Obama that question on Reddit, and he answered it. I, I don't know what he said, but he answered it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think the small ducks would probably take me down. I don't know. They might get oh, to my kneecaps. I'd do the 10 horse, uh, duck-sized horse. Oh, is it 10? I thought it was 100. Oh, 10. No, 10. Oh, 10 yeah. easy. Oh, I'll just kick yeah. them all. Yeah, they're done. Yeah, For okay. Real? 100 uh, the question was 100 uh before, sorry. I'd be like I a rock. Take 100 of them. Be power slamming wow. all them dudes. Yeah, you have a lot of strength though. I'm like, like a you know, like I have I got, strength, I some, dude. I'm I'm a floppy so. man, dude. You look like a wrestler. A wrestler? Really yeah. Okay. Appreciate you. you. 10 duck-sized duck horses. Yes. Yeah. A hundred, no. Uh, normally it's a hundred. A hundred's a little difficult, I think, to take down. Unless I had a weapon. Or I was wearing, uh, we call them shit kickers in Canada. Like, uh, Are those steel toe boots? Yeah, or like uh, Timbaland or something. <laughs> All right, Sal wants to know, now would you fight 10 Canadian geese? Ooh. Those are nasty. They're I've seen nasty. videos. They're yeah. come down the street for me right now and... Uh, they definitely don't mess around, especially if there's youngins. Um, <laughs> man, I don't know if I could do it. Yeah. I think they'd both take me. I'd have to kill them. Last call for serious questions. Any other questions you'd like to ask? Otherwise, Robo and I are going to run a friendly. What are the rules for the friendly this time? Um, I don't know. We could do that each of us pick three cards for the other person. No, I don't like that. Okay. One and card. then and then we auto deck? I hate the yeah. auto deck. Don't make me auto deck. Um we can do pixels. 
Ooh, okay. Now we're talking pixel decks. Let's go. Okay.